Welcome all, this is TechGeek311 here and I want to give you guys a heads up that this Friday, which is April 10th, Apple will be unveiling their pre-order of the Apple Watch. Now if you have this app, which you can see right here called the Apple Store, you can actually pre-order directly through your device. You don't have to go on your computer or anything, but I'm going to show you both ways just so you can see. Let's say we open up the Apple Store for example. All right. So starting on, I said midnight Pacific Standard Time, which will be actually Thursday the 9th, you can actually get on on your computer or get on this app, and you can uh, go ahead and pre-order your Apple Watch. Now, unlike phones, it might be a congested site. Uh, you might be able to get in. You might not be able to get in. Might be a hit or miss. So take it at your own risk if you're going to do the pre-order. Um, now, the thing is, um, it's 12 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, so like for us in Texas, that's 2 a.m. So it depends on what you've got going on that next day, <laughs> if you're going to stay up late that night or not, how you're going to do it. So pretty much here you can see, Apple Watch pre-order after April 10th, uh, and of course the rest of the app gives you more information about other stuff. Let's say we go in here and I want to do, I want to know more information on the sport version. So I can go in here and I can look at the sport version, look at all its details, all its specs, and so forth. But up here on the right hand corner, I can go to view pricing, and of course here you can see the different models and the different prices. So then I can pick whatever I want, let's say I want to go with the blue one for example. And then right here it gives you all the information on that Apple Watch itself. Now of course you say it's available to ship, currently unavailable, until the April 10th. Now if you look on that top right corner, you're going to see that blue heart. That's not always highlighted blue. It's only highlighted blue on this one because I've already saved this one. Down here on the bottom, you have a sizing chart. So you can actually measure your wrist size to see if this is going to be the right one for you or not. Then of course you have the share button. This gives you a chance to share this with anyone that you want to. So we'll go back in here and let's pick one that I don't have on there. If you notice that that heart on the top right corner is not highlighted anymore. That tells you that it's not saved in the favorites. So letting you save this in the favorites I guess to make it faster on the orders. You can also go to compare. They give you an option here to compare. So you can see the difference between the two sizes. The 42 ml mm and the 38 mm which is millimeters. So you can see the difference. And that's the actual size of what the Apple Watch is going to look like. Then we go back out here of course we can look at the edition this is the more pricier one of course if I go to prices here now you're talking about ten thousand dollars all the way up to fifteen thousand dollars so this one is only going to be um, in special stores and all that now one thing I want to let you know though with this Apple watch you're not going to be able to buy it at any other retail store except Apple so apple.com or at an Apple retail store it's going to be your only choices right now for the pre-order and for when it actually ships and uh, gets to your house by the 24th of this month. So now if I go down here under account and I go into favorites, this shows you all the ones that I've saved. Now there's a reason why I saved two different kinds, the Apple Watch Sport and the Apple Watch. I've been reading a lot of things about the way the screen is made they use a sapphire glass on the Apple Watch which is supposed to be very good at scratch resistant but they say that it's it's easier to shatter but then they say the Apple Watch you can get more scratches on the sports one uh, so I'm not really sure on it I, I don't know if I can even make the pre-order I've got an appointment that following day I'm gonna try to do a pre-order if I can uh, and I'm not quite sure if I'm going to go with the actual Apple Watch or if I'm going to go with the Sport. Because I can get the exact same band on either one. That's all that matters to me. I'm not so concerned about scratches that much. I don't really think I'm going to scratch it anywhere. But uh, I'm kind of in the, in the ups trying to figure out where, what to do with it. So when this Apple Watch does become available on Friday, you'll be able to order it from here. Now, if you don't want to do that from there, you can always go in here and go under your web browser, go straight to apple.com itself, 
and of course they have the same setup. It's all there. You can go right in here into their section on the top, click on watch, and it'll give you all the information on here about the models. Basically the same thing. You can see all the models, you can see all the pictures, you can see all the stuff that they have. You can go in here and say I want to see all models. You can watch TV ads if you want to. Uh, whatever you think is easier. So of course it says coming soon. And so like I said, <clears throat> let's say I want to go in here. I want to tap on this. I want the, the Apple Watch Sport Blue for example. Here it is. I can spin it around so I can see everything around it. Uh, you can move this up. Of course you can view them, share them. You can flip this across so you can see how the face looks. It's very interactive. Their website. Gives you all the information, the features in here, height, depth, and so forth. But of course, doesn't give you a way to buy it yet. Now, of course you can see here and it tells you the different things you can look at health, fitness, design, craftsmanship, technology, built-in apps, guided tours, films, gives you all the models and all the galleries. So if I go in here and I want to view this model, then it'll bring me back into that app of course. That's if you're doing it mobily. If you're doing it on your computer, of course it'll give you the same step right here, save it in your favorites and so forth and you can purchase it during the pre-order. Alright, so that's how you do a pre-order for any device um, on Apple.com or the Apple Store app for your iPhone. And this is currently for the Apple Watch. So don't forget that date, April 10th, doing the pre-orders, uh, 12 a.m. Pacific time. So check your local area, see what time that's going to be. Uh, subscribe to my channel so you'll get all my latest videos, especially if I do get the Apple Watch. Make sure you do that. Uh, like this video below and then don't forget April 24th they're going to be shipping out some will actually arrive before that date or some people will actually be picking up these Apple Watches in the store okay so if I don't get a chance to do my pre-order I'll probably uh, order it another time after that uh, see if I can get mine uh, hopefully within time depends on the shortages of, of the amount of devices they have and depends also on how good the orders go online so that is my uh, review basically on how you do a pre-order for Apple and this is concerning the Apple Watch. So don't forget to give me any comments if you got it. Like, subscribe if you can. Check out my website for all my other information. And I'll catch you guys with more videos. Thanks for watching.